Prepare for Nerdgasm. Hey, what's up, Nerdgasm fans? Jerry here, a.k.a. Barnacles. Got an unboxing video for you guys today. Uh, sorry I haven't been putting up a lot of videos lately. Life's just been getting really busy. Um, won't get into any super detail on that, but uh, videos might be just slowing down a little bit. Um, but they'll pick back up. So anyways, today I want to unbox something that my friend Greg got me a long time ago that I still haven't opened. And he's probably going to stab me when he watches this video and realize I haven't opened it yet. But it's a Wemo Switch Pack. So he picked this up from me, I believe, from Costco. And basically what it is, is it's these modules that you plug into the wall that communicate through your wireless network to turn devices on and off remotely. And it's a pack of two of them. And it has an iOS application that you can go get from the app store to control the devices. And they also have a manual switch on them too, so you can turn the device on and off locally. So you can use it as just a little switch on the wall. Um, the main reason I haven't opened them yet is because I was trying to figure out what a good use for them would be. Uh, I've already got automated outlets on uh, my light switches, which you guys have seen in my other videos. I use my little Westinghouse remote and I can turn the lights on and off in my room. So I don't know if you guys can see that. But uh, so I was like, what the hell am I gonna use these for? Um, and I just figured it out last night. What I'm going to use them for is my cable modem about every two or three days. Um, it acts up, loses signal or locks up or something. I got to go unplug it and plug it back in and then it pops right back online. It does it at random. Sometimes it goes a week, sometimes it goes a day. Um, and it's a common problem and I've had it with other modems too. I think it's more just the signal from the ISP just gets jumbled up or something. You have to reboot it. So I was like, this will be perfect because right now I have to go all the way downstairs, which you guys know for a man of my size, that's actually a tricky adventure. So, you know, I'd rather just sit up here on my ass and push a button and have it remotely do it. But then I was thinking, I was like, wait a second, I'm a software developer. So why don't I just pr write a program that can do it for me? So I went and looked and of course Belkin doesn't have an API released for this yet. But I did find a couple guys that, uh, that wrote a Python script that can basically emulate the uh, UPnP stuff that goes over the network that controls these devices. So um, I'm not going to do that in this video. That's going to be a development project that I do. And if you guys, if you guys want, leave a comment. I'll do a video on that if enough of you are interested in the actual like software and stuff. If you guys would like to use it yourself, but I'm going to write a program that'll basically ping a couple of reliable sources on the internet, like two or three reliable sources. And if at any time it loses connection simultaneously with all three or five, or I'll, I'll make it configurable. As soon as it loses track of all of those and it can't ping them anymore, it's going to send a signal to shut off the cable modem and then it's going to wait 30 seconds and then it's going to power the cable modem back up and then do another test. And if that test fails for five minutes or a predefined time, it's going to rinse and repeat the operation until the internet is back online. And that way when I'm away from my house, uh, my computer can basically take the place of me having to unplug and replug the modem. So that way when I come home, my wife won't go, oh my God, the internet was down all day. And I'll be like, I'm sorry. And then I'll just go unplug and plug it back in. This way, my computer will do it for me. So anyways, let's get to the unboxing portion of this. Um, it's your standard, you know, uh, card, basically just cardboard with two plastic inserts. Um, my, my worst nemesis of packaging. I usually get my fingers all sawed up. So, whoa, almost cut my toes off there. Uh, I got my crazy scissors today. Let's uh, cut into the sucker. Actually, I probably shouldn't cut down the center now that I think about it. Come on out. Man, that is some crazy packaging. There we go. Let's see if that gets us where we want to be. Okay, there we go, we're down to the plastic now. Peel the back off. It's the most awkward unboxing ever. Yes, I freed one. Now free the other one. Everybody always asks me, why are you so hard on your shit? Well, I don't know guys. I've got, I've got rage and ADHD. I'm 100 miles an hour most of the time, except for when I'm not sleeping. Uh, and things tend to get a little broke and damaged when uh, when I act that way. But, you know, so be it. It's fun. If I break it, I just fix it or replace it. Um, so there's the unit right there. Hopefully you guys can see this. I haven't videoed in a while. And if you look on the back, and let me, let me say it didn't come with any documentation, obviously. Just whatever was written on the cardboard. That's your documentation right there. Um, if you look on the back of the unit, it's got a sticker and it has a Wemo ID. And, and it says it's Wemo 5F4. So I'm guessing that's probably like a Mac address that you use for locating the unit uh, with your iPhone. 
Um, but it's a Wemo smart switch, if you guys want to look it up. And it's model F7C027, if you want to find the exact model that I have here in my hands. And uh, let's see, on the back it says input 120 volts up to 15 amps. So wow, this thing can handle a full 15 amps. You gotta be careful, a lot of the X10 units, like the modules that I used to have that you plugged in the wall, they would say right on them, like lamp module only handle like, you know, uh, 200 watts max. I had another one that was an appliance module that only handled 500 watts. This will handle a full 15 amp circuit. So I don't know how that works out, like 1700, 1800 watts, somewhere in there. Um, so this, technically I could use one, to work my studio lights that you probably can't see because way up next to the ceiling but you know so so I'll have a use for the other one I'll probably plug this one and have it use my for my studio lamps here because right now you got to flip two switches on the back of them and I tend to move them around every time I do that I'd like to be able to do it remotely and then I'll use the other one for my cable modem um, on the back it's got a little button that says restore I have no idea what that does uh, we'll figure that out and then on the front it's got the power button for manually turning it on and off so there's the front of both the units, the back of both the units, the side of both the units from the top. Okay. And they're three prong grounded outlets. Let's see, is there anything else to talk about? Uh, they both have different IDs, which I would hope because you don't want to control both of them. So one's 5F4 and the other one's 140. So I'm guessing that those are semi unique so that you can go buy a whole bunch of these things and litter them all around your house. All right, well, let's install the app on the iPhone and see how they work. All right, guys, here we are on the marketplace. I just did a search for Wemo, W-E-M-O, and it was the first app right there. And it's actually uh, pretty highly reviewed, so it must work pretty good. So let's go ahead and click that and install the app. All right, you guys can hopefully see there's the Wemo network right there. So we're going to go ahead and join the Wemo network. And we are joined. So let's scroll all the way over here. Where did that Wemo app go? There it is, Wemo. Hopefully this is in focus. It's hard to tell sometimes, guys. Okay, let's see. To finish, uh, it needs to join my home Wi-Fi. Go ahead and log in. I'll enter the password. Connect, connect, connect. There we go. Enabling remote access. Remote access enabled. You can now control your Wemo from the device's phone anywhere in your home or internet access. Sweet! Alright, so it says we can give it a name. Let's go ahead and call this Wemo switch. It's kind of weird doing this around the camera. I'm like hugging the camera. We'll call this Wemo Modem. Wee Modem. Now nah, we'll just do Wemo Modem. There we go. Save. Okay, the device icon, we'll leave it as a switch. Looks like, oh, you can even take a photo. So you can take a photo of the device. That's pretty cool. I don't have my modem handy, so I'm not going to do that. Um, let's see. And I don't want to enter my email address. Hit done. All right, I'm going to go ahead and try to put this back on my regular home network, and we'll see if it works. All right, guys, so here's the Wemo unit I just configured. You can see it has a little power switch on the front. You can touch that, turn it on, turn it off. I'm running my two, uh, it's like my 500 watt halogen light setup off of it. It's actually two 500 watt bulbs, so it's a thousand watts. Um, and I got running through this, seems to handle it just fine. And let's see, we're gonna go ahead and open up the Belkin app. The Wemo, okay. Looking for switches, let's see if it finds it. Oh, there it is, Wemo modem. Well, that was pretty easy to set up, actually. So click that. Looks like there's a power button right there. So power off. There it is. You guys can see it's off. And it's on. And wow, that's blurry. Oh, well. Okay, turn it off. And turn it on. Oh, we better get some light up in here. Better turn it on. Oh, we're on. And we're off. Looks like it takes about one or two seconds to respond. Looks like it works pretty damn good to me. 
All right, Nerdgasm fans, well, there you have it. That is the Belkin Wemo Switch. It comes in uh, from Costco, got it in packs of two. I don't know if Costco still carries it, but um, I listed the model number. I'll also put it in the description so you guys can find it. Um, they are kind of pricey. I think they're about 80 bucks for two of them. You can probably find them cheaper online. Uh, but, oh, it actually says, oh, sorry, a tangent. Uh, restore factory settings by holding the restore button for five seconds. So that little restore button I was talking about earlier, I had no idea what it did. You hold it down for five seconds and it resets the Wi-Fi settings so you can reconfigure the device. But it was really easy to configure. The software took a little while to download. The software looks really, really nice and well made. And it, I mean, it looks like a typical iOS app. Um, it has places to configure remote access. You can do uh, settings for connecting to the device over your internet. Um, it even supports some service called IFTTT which uh, is an event-based service. I went and looked at it briefly. You guys can go check it out. It's iftt.com, I believe. And you can put in a pin number in there and you can actually have web events control the device. And there's different types of Wemo devices. There's sensor devices and other modules. But for the switch, what I can do is I can say, I want it to turn the switch on every time I get a Facebook message from somebody, or I want the switch to be turned on anytime the weather's above 50 degrees or below 50 degrees. Um, it's pretty cool, I'll give that a try. But obviously that's not gonna work for the purpose that I was talking about, the cable modem, because I won't have internet access and the IFTTT service is all web-based. So. Um, if you guys are interested in the software that helps you control a device based on uh, websites being up or down, let me know because when I do a video on it, when I finally make it, I'll, I'll make sure I share a link and I'll upload it to File Depot or something so that everybody can download it. And uh, also give me some ideas how you'd like the software to work if you want me to broaden the scope of how it's used. Um, I'd be curious because I've been kind of looking for a little project to do. So let me know, guys. And, uh, and the goal for me personally will be for the software, of course, to monitor a couple reliable websites, maybe like Ping Google, Microsoft, and a couple other sites that have minimal downtime. And if all of them are offline at any given time, it'll go ahead and power off the modem and recycle it. And I may even plug the switch into my entire networking infrastructure, because that way if those sites are down, I can actually restart the entire modem. And then a minute later, I can have it bring the networking switch online and configure all my, uh, my network access stuff in my QoS service. So guys, this has been another unboxing video. Um, I hope you guys enjoy it. Sorry again that I'm not making videos as much, but uh, I'll definitely be at least releasing one a week at a minimum. Um, and this seems to be a really solid product. Belkin usually makes pretty good stuff. They overcharge for some of their stuff, but uh, but the quality's good. I mean, the plastic used to make this, I mean, feels bulletproof. I mean, it's just a really, really strong uh, piece of hardware. So I would recommend it at this point. Um, I look forward to hearing you guys' comments and reading everything like usual. Have a great night, guys. Bye.